He's uh, Clay Travis, OutKickTheCoverage.com, Fox Sports College football analyst. Why is Gurley suspended and nobody else suspended with this, Clay? Because it's just like being a, uh, a traffic cop, Dan. Everybody's driving 80 miles an hour down the road. Somebody gets pulled over for, uh, for doing it. Um, I, I really feel like that's where we are with autographs in, uh, in, in major college sports at this point. And for whatever reason, Georgia has been, I think, more aggressive than most other schools. Remember, they set out A.J. Green yeah. for, for four games for selling his own jersey, which is crazy in and of itself. Uh, and now they've set out Todd Gurley. Um, I, I think, you know, if you want to give Georgia any credit, you can say that unlike a lot of other schools, which basically, like you said, dare the NCAA to prove something, Georgia tries to go in and figure out what happened and go ahead and pay the consequences when everybody else tries to uh, tries to get away with it. And uh, I think certainly that's what we're with. Uh, that's the situation we've reached with Florida State. They're so far past the point of no return that. I mean, I, I legitimately question what Jameis Winston could do to, uh, to, to not play the rest of this season. <laughs> well, they are rolling the dice, but I think Florida State's probably saying, what, he signed some autographs? Oh, we got bigger problems than that. Well, I said, I tweeted last night, Dan. I mean, this is the perfect example. I mean, if Jameis Winston ends up ending his college career over autographs, it's like Al Capone getting hit for tax evasion. Yeah. Um, you know, in, in terms of what he's been accused of doing and maybe been involved in, this is just such a drop in the bucket. But uh, it may be the thing that ends up tripping him up. Okay, is there a way that can satisfy all parties involved here? I don't think so, and, and I think that the, the 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 big mess, uh, honestly, the autographs is one thing, but to me, the, the, this hearing that that Florida State has finally gotten around to holding is the much bigger issue for Jameis Winston because I, I can't imagine that he's going to tell his side of the story. He's going to be confronted by this former student who has alleged that that he raped her, um, and this hearing he would have to tell his side of the story. And if he tells his side of the story, what he's got to be concerned about is from a criminal and civil yeah. perspective in the future, does this get out? And uh, I think there's a good chance that it would. And so I can't imagine him actually telling his story. And if he allows, if you're, if you're this Supreme court justice from Florida, who's going to be sitting here listening to the story, if, a, if the woman stands up and tells her side of the story, and then Jameis Winston just says, yeah, I choose not to speak here. I don't know how in the world you could say, okay, I find her so, un, you know, lack of, I don't find her believable in, in comparison with Jameis Winston. And, and I think that's the bigger story for him is that he's finally being held accountable and will have to say something. And I don't think he will. Talking to Clay Travis, I'll kick the coverage.com is the website works for Fox sports. Uh, athletes controlling their likeness seems to be that hot button issue. You know, you had the, uh, the lawsuit, the Ed O'Bannon case, EA sports, how much control should they have and should athletes be able to profit off of their likeness, their autograph? It's, it's a great question. M my position on this would be that instead of allowing individual athletes to profit, we probably should do something socialistic. And if they want to be able to sell their autographs, pool that money and give it back to the members of the team as a whole. Because I do understand the perspective of uh, if you allow one individual athlete to create value for himself, that creates a, a disconnect uh, among everybody else who's being otherwise treated equal on the team. Now, I, I could also say that uh, there's already a disconnect, right? I mean, some of these kids have more money than others do, and it doesn't seem fair that uh, the NCAA basically is in the business of tracking down improper benefits when the only people who are accused of ever getting improper benefits are people who never had anything, which is basically an anti-capitalistic perspective, right? I mean, an improper benefit is never a rich parent. If you've got rich parents, you don't ever need anything while you're in, in college. So I see both sides of the equation, but to me, the way to solve it would be to allow more money. And if they want to sell their autographs, that money goes into a larger pool that is then distributed to everybody else. So the whole team is able to benefit. Uh, it also would allow some exclusivity. You say, okay, we're going to do $100,000 worth of autographs. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a couple of grand extra for every member of the team instead of a hundred grand for one person. Uh, I know you love to tweak, uh, Alabama. Here's Nick Saban yesterday talking about the win against Arkansas. You know, everybody's got such a high expectation for what our team should be. Uh, I was just happy to see our players be happy about playing a game and winning. I, and it really sort of, if you want to know the truth about it, pisses me off when I talk to people that have this expectation, like they're disappointed that we only won the game 14-13 and in the way we played. Really, that's frustrating. You want to talk about something that's frustrating? That's frustrating to me. For our players who play with a lot of heart in the game. Don't worry, be happy. 
Uh, Alabama, <laughs> dumbest fan base in America, Dan. And uh, Nick Saban has never really had to deal with the full uh, idiocy of that fan base when they're not winning. And honestly, none of us on social media have seen it. I mean, 99% of the self-esteem of the state of Alabama is rooted in University of Alabama football. But it's like a kid's uh, inflatable at a birthday party. It can uninflate in a real hurry when the party ends. And we haven't even seen what Alabama fans are like when they actually lose. I mean, the, 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 Nick Saban is, is right there on the precipice of about to figure out what it's like uh, to be uh, be Mike Shula in that state. <laughs> oh, tell me what you really think there, Clay. Uh, I, I find it, you know, I would want to know, all I'd want to say is to Nick Saban, are you satisfied with what you saw? Are you happy with what you I, – I don't care about your kids being happy because, hey, we won, and they, I'm happy that they're happy. Are you happy, Nick? Because if you're happy, then I'm happy. I'm satisfied. But you as a coach, are you happy? And, of course, he's not. No. Did you see him on the sideline? I mean, I, I was oh, watching man. that thing. If he, if he just fell down right now and he had a heart attack or a stroke, first of all, I hope he would be okay. But secondly, <laughs> I, think he's probably, I think he's probably rehearsed that in practice. Like, I think that Nick Saban is so prepared that if he fell down and he suddenly wasn't able to – I think they've actually rehearsed that in, in, in the offseason. Wait, like he's everybody's like, rehearsing a heart attack? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think he's like, Lane Kiffin's going to take over. Oh I think they've God. taken him like three steps down. If Lane Kiffin has a heart attack, who, who takes over next? That's the process, man. Nothing on the sideline that ever happened surprises Saban. So he, he's got everything worked out. You, you know, don't, you don't no, have a trip planned to Alabama anytime soon. Uh, I'm, actually, uh, I'm actually running for governor. It's, right <laughs> in, it's not going well. Then. I think you're running from the governor is what you're doing there. <laughs> uh, thank you, Clay. All right. I appreciate you guys having me. Thanks Clay Travis, I'll kick the coverage.com. 